Keki Mystery, Vice Chairman and CEO at HDFC, Mr. Mystery. Thank you for joining us on NDTV, packed schedule, so we doubly appreciate it. Let's get straight to it. If there's one thing that stands okay. out in the budget, uh, it's this focus on affordable housing. It was expected and it's come through evaluated. I would say there are two, three benefits which are there for in the affordable housing segment. One is the change in the capital gains. This is not necessarily only for affordable housing, but for housing as a whole. That the capital gains uh, period for, for the period to reckon capital, long-term capital gains, has been reduced from three years to two years. The second benefit, and which is a more important benefit, is the infrastructure status that is given to affordable housing. So because of the infrastructure status, two benefits flow through. One is cost of funding comes down, number one. And number two, uh, the, the builder, the the, the the, the developer will be entitled to a tax benefit for a longer period of time. But according to me, besides these two benefits, the third and according to me the most important benefit is what the Prime Minister had announced on 31st of December when he had said that there will be a 3% subsidy up to 9 lakhs of rupees, I'm sorry, up to 12 lakhs of rupees, sorry, 9 lakhs of rupees, and a, sorry, <laughs> is 3 lakhs up to 9, 3% up to 9 lakhs of rupees and 4% up to 12 lakhs of rupees. Now, these two schemes are in addition to what is prevalent today. What is prevalent today is that if you are a first-time home buyer and you are buying an apartment where the area of the apartment is less than 65 square meters and the income of the individual is less than 6 lakh rupees a year, then there will be a tax, there will be a 6% subsidy or 6.5% subsidy that will be provided by the government for the life of the loan. Now what the Prime Minister has announced is that it will be 9 lakhs and 12 lakhs, which means that the amount of uh, subsidy will probably be more or less the same because the percentage is lower, but it will be available on a larger amount. Now the details of who will be eligible under the scheme have still not been announced and I would believe that now that the budget is behind us, in the next few days that announcement will be made. And I would think that would, that would increase the number of people who will be eligible so today the eligibility is restricted to people whose income is up to 3 lakh rupees a year. That limit of 3 lakhs would probably go higher. Number one, it's 50,000, I'm sorry, it's 50,000 rupees a month. So that limit will go higher. And the second thing is that the size of the apartment, which is today capped at 65 square meters, that size will also increase. So both these benefits, I mean, both these things, if they are brought in, will significantly widen the base of people who will be eligible for this subsidy amount. And that would then significantly uh, increase the demand for housing. You know, there are other pieces to uh, the demand for housing. Uh, one piece we fleshed out in detail right now with your opening comments. The other piece is just generally more income in the pocket. Uh, and I'm wondering how you view the tax relief that has come through for those with the lower income levels and whether that, in a sense, increases income in the pocket to generate real demand for housing. So that is, uh, there are several positives of this budget. One of them is affordable housing. There are many other positives, but one more positive is the fact that what you mentioned, that at the lower income level, the tax rate has been reduced, which means there's more money in the hands of people to spend, which effectively spurs consumption. And I have been saying for such a long time that one of the most important things we need to do to kickstart the private sector investment cycle is to increase consumption. There is the reason or one of the reasons, according to me, why the in private sector investments have been relatively slow to happen is because of the fact that everyone has, all the industries, private sector industries, have built excess capacity over the years and that excess capacity is not, that capacity is not being fully utilized. So we have about 73, 74 odd percent capacity utilization. That can go higher if consumption increases and by reducing the tax rate at the at in those, those that lower income slab, effectively more money will be left in the hands of people which would lead to more consumption. So that would also be a benefit. And I think it's a very balanced budget on the whole. There is something in the budget for every sector, whether it is infrastructure, whether it is housing, whether it is job generation, whether it is education, whether it is youth. So there is, there is something for agriculture, there is something for rural India, there is Indeed. something to spur consumption. So every sector of the economy seems to have been taken into account by the 
Finance Minister while presenting the budget. What's missing, Mr. Mistry? What would you have liked to see? Well, if you ask me, one of the things which perhaps could have been done, and this has been my view, is I was shocked to see that there are only 24 lakh people who declare a taxable income of, what did he say, more than 10, 10, 10 lakhs of rupees. And there are 7,781 companies that declare a taxable income of more, these companies who declare a taxable income of more than 10 crores. So obviously, there is a massive amount of underreporting of the income. Now, one of the causes of black money has always been high tax rates. So, at the high income level, at the highest marginal tax rate, if we could bring down the, the, the maximum marginal tax rate to, let's say, 30% and cap it at 30%, including everything, including all the surcharges and all the cesses and stuff like that, then I think that will go a long way in improving tax compliance. So, I think, and, and the loss to the revenue would not have been very material because the number of such taxpayers is limited. So I think that is one thing which perhaps at some point of time the finance minister may need to look at maybe in next year's budget. Keki Mistry, I'm going to leave it at that. Appreciate your time and insights here on NDTV. Good to talk to you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.